What's going on YouTube? Yama yeah, Yadi, welcome to the channel. And in today's episode, guys, I'm gonna talk about why I got rid of my Shoei RF 1400. And I'm gonna talk about the helmet I picked up and many of you guys will not believe it. But guys, if you want, stick around, stay tuned and enjoy. If any of this content interests you, do me a huge favor. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you want, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all new uploads. All right guys, real quick reason of why I got rid of my Shoei RF 1400. It was the accolade, it was the graphic I wanted that matched my 2021 MT-09. It had been out of stock for a long time and I really wanted it. I picked it up from somebody and I got the transition lens from somebody else and the times that I wore the helmet, it was a great helmet. But guys, I have emotional attachments to everything that I purchased and at the end of the day, I felt that this individual has bad intentions for my well-being. In other words, just doing me dirty and I won't get into details about it, but but I will tell you this, I'm the type that if I have something and I feel that way, I get rid of it because I don't want something with bad karma, bad juju, even though I don't believe in that, but I just emotionally cannot look at something that I bought from somebody that I feel has bad intentions for my life and for my family. So for that reason, I got rid of it. Shoei, if you ever watch this video, great helmet, awesome fit, awesome in the wind, totally amazing sound quality with my Cardo system in it, but because of who I got it from, I had to get rid of it. So Shoei, if you wanna bless me with another Shoei R1400, I will take it most graciously because it'll be from you and not from somebody that has bad intentions for me. But on Facebook market, I was looking and lo and behold, someone picked up a helmet brand new that I've had my eye on for a while. And I'm pretty sure you guys know which one it is, but I was just having problems with the fit on the previous generations and the paddings weren't the greatest. But guys, I went ahead and met with this individual. I had the helmet in my hand, tried it on. And guys, even though it's not the graphic that I wanted, it is a nice graphic. And the helmet, honestly, after about 200 miles of riding with with it so far is amazing honestly blew my mind the transition from the 3.0 to the 4.0 and with that hint and without further ado let me show you the helmet I picked up the Ruroc Atlas 4.0. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but bam, there it is. Here's the box. It's almost like getting an iMac or some kind of MacBook. Super nice quality in the boxing and wrapping, even to the detail where it says, welcome to Ruroc. Thank you. Here we go. Bam, nice little background design on the box itself. And here is one of my favorite parts where it basically gives you the name of the helmet, the description and the QR code if you want to get started possibly with other purchases here we have the box that I'm opening up super nice quality they just do a really nice job making this a premium box and I know I expressed that before in the previous video I made on the 3.0 even though I didn't like the 3.0 as much or really at all this helmet here is definitely a lot better here it is. This is the clear visor because I already have the tinted on. So it comes with two visors, a clear and a tinted. It also comes with a pin lock. Without further ado, here is the helmet. And guys, boom. This is the Ruroc Atlas 4.0 Outrun. Super cool designs. It kind of reminds me of like that 80s movie Rad. It's like a BMX movie. For some reason, when I see these graphics, I think of Rad, the BMX movie. I don't know if it's just because of the logo or something about it. It just reminds me of it. It's got a dope little cassette tape there. Obviously guys, I have the black visor on that and I'm using on this helmet, the Senna Spider. This is one of the newest Senna's that are out and Freddy Rods did an amazing video because he has this helmet as well. He actually had it before me and like I said, guys this is not the original helmet that I wanted but because of the trade basically there was a gentleman trading this helmet brand new and I just traded him for the RF 1400 straight up and guys I am not unhappy with that deal because I am super stoked about having this 4.0 here we have the back it is DOT and ECE approved there are the numbers there if you want to check it out this is a medium large and I'm gonna show you guys how this fits on me here in a second but guys this is one of my favorite parts the way that this actuates on this 
visor is super nice, man. The way the center fit in this little groove, this was actually Freddie Rod's idea. He did it, I watched his video, I just duplicated what he did. And man, if you haven't checked out his video, I'll share the link in the description section. He does a lot better job than me explaining all the details of this because he's had previous helmets of the Rurock brand. I think the 1.0, the 2.0, and now the 4.0. So he has a lot of experience with this helmet, but guys, there is no better looking helmet in the market than the Rurock. Now I do love the look of my Simpson Ghost Bandit. I think this is another cool looking helmet just for the same reason. It kind of has like that big visor, kind of mean looking grill in the front. And that's what I love about this Rurock 4.0 because it has kind of the same concept, only better. It does have a vent here that actually works. The previous 3.0, this was not here. This actually has a vent that works. It does open and close. This vent does open and close from the inside. A lot of airflow in this helmet, guys. And I'm not saying it to cop any points. Rude Rock is not paying me for this. I got about 200 miles on this helmet already. Plenty of ventilation. And honestly, the Spider Senna with the HD speakers in this helmet sound absolutely amazing guys i can't even have the volume all the way up i did have to put the little velcro pads that come with the root rock to kind of push the speaker closer to my ear but guys when you do that this thing sounds amazing now again not the graphic i wanted i really wanted the carbon nebula is what they call it it's like because i wanted it to match the r1 nebula with the carbon blue nebula. But in this case, I just took the deal that I had. Again, we traded straight up. How does it compare to the Shoei that I had? The Shoei was a nice fit and it sounded very well. But guys, I'm gonna tell you, this helmet is not far behind the 1400 that I have. It was like pretty much neck and neck. Now, some people will say, oh, this is a noisy helmet, blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you now, if you have not ridden with the 4.0 or tried it on, the noise cancellation in this helmet with the speakers is amazing because the speakers sound so good, honestly as good or better than the RF 1400 with my Cardo Black Talk Bold Limited Edition. And I'm rocking the Senna Spider with the HD speakers in this. And honestly, this sounds just as good or better. I will repeat, just as good or better. Now let's put this on so I can show you what it looks like. All right guys, so there it is. Like I said, a little snug getting it on, but once it gets past the collar, boom, it fits perfect. Super comfortable, no pressure. Now the pads are a little tight, just as tight as my Arai, because I like it that it pushes against my cheeks without me biting my cheeks in the inside of my mouth. It's just like right there. If I close my mouth, it just barely touches the cheeks, you know, on the inside with my teeth, but that's perfectly fine because that's how my Arai Corsair kind of fits. And as you can see guys, boom, look at this. This thing looks amazing. Love the actuation of this visor, the way it goes up and down, super nice. And when you pull this down, check this out. I just kind of push it like this and it locks in place. And now guys, this thing is not coming off easy. I mean, this is not just gonna fly up. You have to really pull this out and up for it to actually open back up and release. And that's what I love about it. Now check this out. This strap that's here is magnetic. So all you have to do is just pull it over, boom, it's done. It's locked in place. I wish I could show you guys that, but again, I just kind of pull it over, boom. There it is. It is in there. This thing is not coming out, guys. Like, no matter how much you yank this thing, it's not coming out. So the 4.0 compared to the 3.0, huge difference. And guys, if I put on the Senna Spider, the music, again, sounds awesome. So to compare the Shoei RF 1400 as far as fitment with this helmet, honestly, they're very close. I don't care what anybody says. You're going to have a bunch of Shoei hardcore fans that are going to go, nah, Yama Yadi's lying. I'm telling you guys right now, I have no reason to lie to you. Super nice fit. I still have my Shoei. RFSR over there that you guys can check out. That one fits just as nice. But guys, this is no slouch of a helmet. Looks amazing. Fits good. Amazing buckle mechanism here with the magnetic connection. Nice visor. Boom. Again, it comes with the tinted. It comes with the clear and it comes with the pin lock. So overall, guys, an amazing helmet. And as you can see from the back, awesome, awesome helmet. So guys, if you haven't checked out the 4.0s, I encourage you to check them out. They are a helmet that you have to really pay attention to the sizing, but if you follow the website's instructions, you should be A-OK -okay with the new upgraded padding on the 4.0. And guys, you're gonna be seeing me wear this a lot. If you're around DeBerry or Orlando, see me riding. This is the helmet I'm gonna ride for a long time. So thank you to Iron J Moto, Blockhead, and Freddie Rods for giving me all the info and the details of this amazing helmet. And 
thank you to the guy on Facebook Market that had this for sale. Hope you enjoyed the channel. Until then, guys, be blessed, ride safe, take it easy on the filthy streets. Remember, you got to work on Monday. Peace.